guys welcome back to the phone gap video tutorials this is not a specific video tutorial today I'm gonna respond to a query generated by one of my subscriber that is uh, he cannot able to get the mobile numbers that means the contact numbers with by using the phone gap contact APIs so we're gonna do that <coughs> so today I'm gonna fetch all the contacts stored in the mobile with the mobile numbers okay and we're gonna also compare uh, on a specific mobile numbers if we got a specific mobile number we're gonna display the details of that person for example if I got a particular mobile number then I want to display the name of that person and the address of that person right so the I have a I have a predefined example in which we have uh, displayed all the contacts which is uh, based on the organization okay but that is not needed right now so just let me show you the output then after that I will describe all the stuff whatever I have done here okay I am getting the details if the organization is available in the contact details right here I am checking that if the contact of I dot organization is available then I want to display the organization details okay like here is the type nil native department producer the second is portfolio manager okay senior mobile developer okay we have a three contacts uh, which has the organization available now let's check the contact details okay that means we have a lots of other lots of contacts available here but we have only three contacts which has the organization added okay but right now I don't want to talk about the organizations okay first of all let's talk how these examples I have created first of all create a new example new applications by using the terminal uh, by firing the command line commands if you don't know how to create a project in iOS or Android you can follow my existing videos or a phone gap video tutorial playlist okay this is my channel web boostings youtube.com slash web boostings and just visit the playlist here you will get all the video tutorials let me show you the phone gap tutorials okay here you can get uh, the details of how you can create a iPhone application using the Android sorry using the phone gap or uh, the next that how you can manage the Hello. iOS applications too if you don't want to find all the stuff in YouTube just visit my website that is infologs.in slash videos here you will get all the video tutorials in a structured manner okay so coming back to the project okay here after that I have uh, added a plugin uh, which is coming from the org.apache.codoa.contacts okay it's a very simple still if you don't know you can watch my existing videos okay you will get that okay after that here I have created a simple register event that is a uh, device ready on device ready I am creating an object of a contact find options and uh, assigning the values to it that I want to get a multiple values don't forget this uh, setting because by default it's a false and uh, after that if you get a first matching it will show only the first record okay that means only a single record and if you want to get a multiple records then you have to assign it true okay after that filtering based on organization okay but right now we do not want to get the organization so I am assigning the name for that okay I want to filter based on the name that that means I am getting all the contacts okay and uh, just call the function find 
filter on success on error and options that we have created above okay on success method let me alert how much contacts I am getting contacts dot length okay but before starting uh, let's check the total contacts okay one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay that means we have a total nine contacts and now let's check how much contacts we are getting guys we got a nine contacts that means we are on a right track okay now the next point is just comment this code we do not need this much code okay now uh, I'm gonna show you how you can read the JSON value okay first of all JSON dot stringify contacts okay it will uh, display a single contact at a time okay let me assign I that means the first contact one at a time all the details of a contacts one by one okay we have a nine contacts okay this is the first contact okay all the details of our contacts we are getting now we want to read the mobile number this is the mobile number of type mobile type other type whatever the things are okay so before that see this is the object starting from here in which we have a ID row ID display name and uh, the name the name is now object because uh, there are sub -childs available given name formatted middle value family name honorific prefix suffix okay and the object is over that means the name is over now the nickname and phone numbers that means the phone numbers belongs to the main object okay so I'm gonna assign here that phone and your MBERS okay it's a case sensitive so you have to write it properly now let's alert this sorry let's run this now we'll get only the bunch of mobile number okay this is the first contact mobile number and other okay this is the second in the second contact we have a home and we have mobile number and we have a fax number also okay mobile number home number home number work and other home mobile work mobile and home work mobile and home okay now okay now we're gonna filter in that that means we want only the mobile numbers okay we want to check only mobile numbers so uh, if you notice we have an array on the first object sorry we have a single array in that we have a two elements 0 and 1 right guys that means you have to make one loop here so that's why we're gonna create a loop over here that means this is a this is the object that we are going to store in a single variable where phone numbers equals contact of i phone numbers then after for where i equals to zero i is less than phone numbers dot length and i plus plus okay now we have a collection of phone numbers but within the phone number we wanna access only 
mobile numbers so I'm gonna check it once again that means we have on this on the element 0 we have an object and then we have to check the type that means we have a condition that is a mobile number of i dot type is equals to mobile if mobile then we're gonna alert this four numbers of i sorry of i dot let me check what is the okay value okay now we'll get only the mobile numbers if available if the mobile number is not available it will skip that contact okay so we're gonna restart this application Okay, we have a nine contacts first is mobile number okay all other mobile numbers in which we have a uh, set into the contacts okay oops guys we have made a mistake the i is zero so you cannot use the same value here you have to use the J J plus plus and after that the J after that J and just run this and uh, after that you will get a proper alerts of all the mobile numbers we got only one Contacts of I dot phone numbers, then phone numbers, then J Jason dot stringify phone numbers. So debugging is a very critical in mobile application, especially in phone gap. Okay, we have a mobile okay we are getting the right after that we are not looping it properly j is equals to zero oops again we made a mistake it's a very silly mistake right guys now it's gonna work properly okay first we have a mobile right Second, we have a mobile that is a 408, right? For third, we have a mobile that is 8855. Again, we do not have a mobile. That means the next we're gonna get the collection of phone numbers, right? Work and other. Still, we get the collection of mobile numbers. Home, no. Yeah, mobile. That means a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 0 work mobile that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right uh, mobile 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 right right guys at once you can get all the details based on your mobile numbers if the mobile number matches that we're gonna fetch more details like a name and all the stuffs uh, just like I have taken care about the mobile numbers you have to also you have also taken care you have to also manage the other objects like names and all that okay i hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial and i hope you have uh, cleared your doubts that how you can access the whole context and how you can modify that based on your requirements so thanks for watching and uh, this example is gonna work on an android application as it is you do not need to change any single code from this applications which i have written here okay thanks for watching
need your suggestions and don't forget to subscribe this channel thanks bye bye